Welcome back fellow investors and traders. Jeff here with another video. And so today, and over the past couple of weeks, we have been seeing massive sell-off in Chinese tech stocks. And I think it's time that we all talk about Alibaba stock, ticker symbol BABA. -B -A. This has been one of our most closely followed positions. And as I always try to tell anybody that's doing any kind of long-term investing, you got to ride these type of things out. Sometimes the best bet is to take your profits and move on. Or if you feel like there's a significant larger bottom to a stock price, sometimes the best thing to do is take some small level of profit and simply wait for better positioning. Alibaba has gotten absolutely hammered lately, and this comes as global investors flee from Chinese tech stocks after the government crackdown on Ant and Alibaba. Now, Ant and Alibaba, this is two high-flying businesses founded by Jack Ma that were once hailed as paragons of China's new tech elite. And guys, this is a very complex thing that's going on right now. This ha There's really so much backstory going in, in the decline of Alibaba stock. So shares of major technology companies in the country have fallen sharply in recent days. That Alibaba, Tencent, JD.com have lost around $200 billion in value during a handful of trading sessions. And so this is exactly what has happened to Alibaba over the past year. As you can see back here in January of this year, this stock was trading higher than it currently is now, over $230 a share. Seen a dip with the overall market here in March. And of course, that's when the COVID-19 crisis really hit kind of worldwide. That pandemic took over. Fear was very high and stocks started selling off. However, I do want to mention it was just shortly removed. Back at the end of October, Alibaba was a $315 per share stock. It was performing excellent. And since that time has lost almost $100 of value, now currently trading at $222.36. So I think it's time we all talk about Alibaba. Let's dig in, kind of regroup with this a little bit, kind of go over all the news, all the different things that are going on with this particular stock and company right now. And I'm going to try to help answer the question, is this a good time to let this position go? Or you should sit back and wait and buy it while it's cheap, okay? Before we get started though, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. I appreciate all the support and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. All right, so before we start discussing all the different events that are playing an effect on Alibaba stock right now, let's talk briefly for a moment about cost basis, okay? And if you're an investor, you've been investing in this company for a long time, I'm sure your position has performed well. It's up about 169% over the past five years, and that's with all these current declines added to that. Here's kind of my two cents on what you should do, how you should manage your position right now. If your cost basis on Alibaba is somewhere between $170 and $200 a share, you might want to go ahead and take your roughly 10% gain somewhere around these levels, maybe let it bounce back up a little bit. Because I do think in the short term, we're headed lower, okay? This is too much negative news impacting this company right now, and it can't overcome it. Even though you will see in a while, short sellers are not shorting this stock, it's just institutions are selling it. Put option volume is also very, very high in this company. So if your cost base, if you have a 10, 12, 15% gain on this company, I would consider just selling your whole entire position and waiting for this storm to kind of pass and picking it up and getting a better cost basis. However, if you were investing in Alibaba four and five years ago and your cost basis is under $100 or it's between $50 and $100, you know, somewhere along in here, or maybe it's even between $100 and and 120 or 130 dollars i would just be patient i would not sell here because you're likely never going to get that cost basis back i don't think it's going to lose another 100 points of stock value simply because earnings are too good this company is too valuable and even with all the deregulation news and some of the antitrust stuff alibaba as a whole is still a very very powerful company that has fantastic earnings every quarter we have a large position of alibaba in our course trade alerts pro and despite all pretty much all of our positions performing extremely well right now there's always going to be one or two that are on the decline and honestly i have me personally just the kind of investor i am i have no interest in selling Alibaba right now, okay? I'm gonna look at these current dips and some of these upcoming dips as an opportunity to buy more, perhaps even lower our cost basis at some point. I can go through a couple really quick that this situation seems very, very similar to. 
And one of those is Boeing, okay, ticker symbol BA. This is another mega cap company, absolutely huge company. Of course, the biggest manufacturer in the entire world. And they got hammered during COVID-19. The stock traded down under $100 a share. And now, as you can see, it is starting to recover. I've made several videos talking about Boeing where you could see this kind of massive price action to the downside. And that's why I say you might be smart taking some gains. But Boeing just recently in the past year, Year, has went from a three to four hundred dollar per share stock down under a hundred dollars and is now seeing a recovery and I think Boeing is going to regain its strength and it's going to continue to grow throughout the years but you did have a real opportunity if you didn't own this stock to get it very very cheap biggest company in the world as a matter of fact Apple at the end of 2018 took a massive dip I remember it selling off trading session after trading session over and over and over and was seeing a lot of decline very fast a lot of people panicked because Apple is so heavily weighted on the indexes and as you can see now looking back during that period of time Apple would have just been an extremely good buy on any of those particular dips even though you did see some slow in the growth of the company you know you have to understand when you're being given an opportunity and this current dip in alibaba i think is a very strong opportunity to either lower your cost basis or buy more or start a position and so okay now we're going to discuss all the different things that are really affecting playing an effect on alibaba stock right now it really goes back to november that's when chinese stocks u.s listings were at risk with congressional vote when the house of representatives was scheduled to take a vote on whether certain chinese companies listed on u.s stock exchanges can continue to remain listed now this vote that took place, it would require companies that wish to maintain their listings in the US be subject to annual audits that could be reviewed by regulators. Basically, they want Chinese companies to be subject to the same SEC regulations as companies here in the United States, the same accounting practices. And obviously some stocks like Alibaba were expected to be subject to these new rules. Now, me personally, I feel like this is just another wrinkle in the ongoing trade war between the United States and China. So we've weathered the storm this far. And again, until we know more or this legislation has actually been set in stone, I'm not going to worry about it too much. If this ever was to take place and happen where these Chinese stocks would be delist delisted from U.S. stock exchanges, we would have a period of time where we'd be able to deal with those positions. But you're seeing a lot of Chinese companies sell off in the fear of that obviously and you're seeing companies like alibaba and c and jd.com neo multiple different chinese companies have lost their momentum you know over the past month and that is pertaining to this news now another event that is pretty recent that has led to some serious doubt in alibaba is the botched ant group ipo then this is a financial service company that is co-founded by Jack Ma. Ant Group has become a one-stop shop for payments, financial investments, securing loans, and numerous other financial services. Since 2014, Ant Group has amassed over 700 million monthly users. So this is a very, very large company, and its rapid success led to an initial public offering that was set to launch in November of this year, and it was going to be the largest IPO in history, being larger than Alibaba, which they listed back in in 2014 but a few weeks before the IPO Jack Ma gave a speech where he said the Chinese run banking industry had a pawn shop mentality implying the government is too risk adverse and slow to innovate a few days later the government pulled Ant Group's IPO and there has been a whole revelation of different things that have happened since that time I'm not gonna get too deeply into the details about that you know, the big thing here is that the Ant Group IPO did not happen in November. A lot of expectation, a lot of people coming into that wanting to invest very heavily into that. And now they're even talking that they won't be able to IPO till after 2021 now. That just kind of remains to be seen. Just keep in mind, View Ant Group and Alibaba is two different companies, okay? Just keep, continue to remember how strong and how efficient Alibaba the company is. You know, make sure you're not putting Alibaba and Ant Group into the same same stock class and now this is the most current thing this article actually just come out today this is a follow-up on Alibaba's antitrust lawsuit is that China has ordered Alibaba founder Jack Ma to break up the fintech empire so authorities in Beijing who had on Christmas Eve ordered an investigation into allegations of monopolistic practices 
by Ma's online retail giant have now ordered his financial technology company Ant Group to scale back its operations. And it goes on to read that a deputy governor of China's central bank said Ant's corporate governance was not sound, ordered it to return to its origins as a payment service provider. Now in a statement, Ant Group said that it would establish a rectification working group and fully implement all the requirements sought out by the regulation. And again guys, keep in mind, antitrust lawsuits are nothing new for mega cap companies. Facebook and Google and Amazon are constantly getting hit with antitrust lawsuits. They're small stumbles in the road. These huge companies always find a way to continue moving forward, okay? So yes, when you get this big and your scale is this high, and obviously Alibaba was getting close to being a $1 trillion company, now they've traded back to around a $600 billion market cap you are gonna get hit with a lot of antitrust lawsuits from the government. It happens to all the big tech companies. So once again, I just look at this as another thing to kind of ride out and not get too overly concerned with. Okay. Now the full antitrust investigation into Alibaba has yet to specify penalties, which is worrying a lot of investors. So I'm sure you can imagine there will be some fines that need to be paid. But like I say, this kind of thing is much more common than you may realize. You know, Google is constantly facing antitrust trust lawsuits and they paying fines same with Facebook Amazon Microsoft Apple all these big tech companies have all had to jump these hurdles before now it's kind of front and center with Alibaba I think a lot more attention has been drawn to this because it's so close to the potential IPO of Ant Group and honestly this is a lot of negative news being dumped on Alibaba's head at one time and that's why I think the stock will trade lower I think you will see it under $200 a share soon so the stock price obviously is going to be cheaper we're gonna have better opportunities to buy into this one so I'm still very much a believer in the long-term thesis here with Alibaba, even though right now it does seem like it is an awful lot of bad news hitting this company. For all I know, more bad news could roll out soon, and we will take those events one thing at a time. But the current, I guess you could say the current mess that they have right now does not distract me from the long-term growth of this company. I'm going to look at this as an opportunity to buy more, even though institutions are dumping this stock day after day because they're kind of seeing the same setup that I am. They're saying, hey, we can sell this stock, take a profit right now and get back in at around $180 or $190 a share or when it's a little bit cheaper. And that's kind of the vision that I have as well. In the short term, it's probably going to trade a little bit lower. You'll see some definitely see some volatility until perhaps maybe it gets to its next earnings report and they crank out the strong revenue and strong EPS numbers with further strong guidance because keep in mind when Anytime retail thrives, Alibaba grows with it, okay? Because really, most retail is powered by Alibaba's wholesale connections. So for now, I'm going to just try to weather the storm. As this stock does get cheaper, I'll probably add to my position and build a further one. Go down to the comments and tell me your thoughts and opinions on Alibaba stock, guys. I would really enjoy hearing that. What do you think? Where do you think the stock goes from here? Are you gonna sell, are you gonna hold, are you gonna buy more? What's your game plan for this position? Thank you as always for watching the video and have a great day.